You see, what I am doing is, uh, is I am expressing mathematically what I am arguing to you. In other words, what I am thinking logically, I am expressing mathematically. Okay? And I know sine cannot take t over t as an argument. You know, you, you know sine 30 degree. And you know pi over 2, sine pi over 2. You know sine pi over 6. But you don't know about the sine 3 second. Right? So, this argument has to be written according to the definition of argument of a sign. That's why we need 2 pi over here. Okay? Now, we can see that, oh, this is frequency. Frequency. So, one second is, this is one second, so this is period of one. If you doubt about my estimation, use your clock and uh, check it. This is one second. So this is one period, one second period. So this is one hertz. And this is two hertz. This is a three hertz. This is one kilohertz, a little bit less. So now I can write this A sine 2 pi f t. And we know that often we write this omega. That is radian frequency. And the frequency f normally the unit of frequency f is hertz or cycles per second. Okay? Right? So this is one way to describe the vibration. Uh, what about if I have a frequency not just the one frequency, but two frequency. Like, uh, not just like this, but like, like this. How do we describe this? Okay. And we can see that this vibration is composed by two components. One is this, and the other one is this. If I add this and this, what I will get? Right? So mathematically, this means that y of t can be written as a1 sine 2 pi f1t plus a2 sine 2 pi f2t. Now we have a problem. Okay, this one and this one assume that that start that start at the same time, right? Or is that that means when A one starts, A two start? Oh, I cannot do that. But you know what I mean, right? So what if I have phase pi over 2 over here? That means when t equals 0, that is 1, or a2, 
That means in this case, two vibrations start when this one start over here, this one coming down. Right? That means when we have a two vibration, there is a possibility to have phase difference. Phase difference in time. That can be pi over 2. That can be pi. If that is a pi, then what happens? When it goes up, it goes down. Right? Okay, that concept is very important. Very important. Phase is very important. Not this phase. P-H-A-S-E. S E. Okay, when, when you and your girlfriend oscillate each other, when you have the same face, you never touch her, right? So when you, when you want to observe some vibration, if you control face, you might be able to control vibration. Okay? So that's very important and essential concept. Phase. So generally, we can write, in this case, the vibration that is composed by two components of vibration, we can write that is A1 sine And in this case, the phase difference is phi 2 minus phi 1 or phi 1 minus phi 2 depending on what you see the phase difference and with respect to what phase difference you see. Phi 2 minus phi 1 is the phase difference of second vibration with respect to first vibration. And phi 1 minus phi 2 means that you are seeing the phase difference with respect to second vibration. Okay? So, what we can write generally the vibration as a superposition of did I use the notation of I or N in the text? Okay, N. Okay, A N, I can write the sine 2 pi F N T plus phi N. The N can 1 to infinity. Or if you like, you can, you can say and start with zero to infinity. Any vibration can be expressed using this magic mathematical form. Right? The, the, everything can be expressed by a n sine 2 pi f n. T plus phi n, and our job is determining a n, phi n, f n. 